As I think most of you know, we are trying to preserve land along with our good friends at the Shenandoah Valley Battlefields Foundation um, at Second Winchester and here at Gettysburg. And, you know, there's obvious connections between the two. You have, uh, you know, they're both in the same campaign. They're not that far apart uh, in terms of time. Um, but there's a more intimate connection. Uh, and to talk about this, you know, that all battles and all campaigns are really made up of people, people that come from communities. Let's talk to Tim Smith of the Adams County Historical Society. We are standing in Evergreen Cemetery on Cemetery Hill, and we're at the grave of William Culp. William Culp, at the outbreak of the war, joined Company E, 2nd Pennsylvania Infantry, a 90-day unit. And after his service, he joined Company F, 87th Pennsylvania. And in June of 1863, the 87th Pennsylvania was one of those units that was stationed at Winchester, Virginia. On the morning of June 15th, 1863, the 87th Pennsylvania came face to face against the 2nd Virginia Infantry. And in the 2nd Virginia was Wesley Culp, William's brother. And at that battle, the two units met each other and brother literally fought against brother. After the fighting was over, William Culp had survived. But Wesley was walking along the field and saw many other members of the 87th Pennsylvania that were from Gettysburg people that he grew up with. Wesley had grown up in Gettysburg, but prior to the war moved to Virginia and uh, eventually joined the second Virginia. We're standing at the grave of Johnston H. Scally. He was also a member of the 87th Pennsylvania. He had grown up in Gettysburg. His father was a tailor. Wesley Culp's father was a tailor. They knew each other from early childhood. And at the fighting at Winchester, Virginia, at a place called Carter's Woods, in the early morning hours of June 15th, Wesley Culp came across Jack Skelly wounded on the battlefield. And according to the story, Jack gave Wesley a message to give to his family should he ever find himself again in Gettysburg. And of course, a couple weeks later, the Southern Army was in Gettysburg, and Wesley Culp went to his sister's house in town and told his sister he had a message for Jack's mom. But of course, the message was never delivered because Wesley Culp was killed somewhere in the fighting east of the town, probably on the morning of July 2nd. Now, some people say the message was also for Jack's girlfriend. And of course, if you're familiar with the story, her name is Mary Virginia Wade, and she was killed on the morning of July 3rd by a sharpshooter bullet at the edge of the town in the skirmishing that took place there. Jack Skelly succumbed to his wounds and died in Winchester, Virginia. But in 1864, his body, along with many others, were removed to their hometowns. And here today, um, William Culp, Johnston H. Skelly, and Mary Virginia Wade are buried a short distance from each other.